Hey guys, what's up? I'm Jerry for those who do not know, and uh, first off, I'll just go ahead and apologize. I don't have my good mic today. Uh, I don't know what, something's messed up with it. It's stupid, I don't know. I'm going to have to get a new cable for it. But yeah, anyway, um, today I'm going to be showing you guys just how to uh, prepare and run the HTML5 client um, on your PC is maximum at maximum performance, basically. And uh, yeah. So pretty much, I think the, re the basic requirements for running the, uh, the HTML5 client is a dual core processor that's clocked at about 2 gigahertz. Now, if you have a little under that, I mean, it's probably going to be laggy even at that. Like, not extremely laggy. It'll, you're not going to be playing extremely high settings, basically. And you're, you can play it at the lower settings, and you should, should be okay. And then you also need to have about 4 gigs of RAM, possibly more, uh, especially if you're going to use the, uh, the RAM disk method. And uh, I'd recommend a decent graphics card. I mean, if you're on a laptop, then hopefully you'll have decent dedicated graphics. Um, Intel has decent ones. Like the newer, If you get a newer PC, you're going to be good on graphics. But if you have one that's a couple years old, uh, you might need to just upgrade your PC basically um, but yeah so let's go ahead and move into the video alright guys so I went ahead and I put step one as uh, run a virus scan so let me go ahead and open up my uh, my virus scanning thing and uh, this is weird you guys probably wouldn't have this you'll probably have something else like McAfee or whatever uh, just use whatever your ISP will probably come with one. You can you can download decent ones on the internet that are free. You can probably find one somewhere. But uh, yeah, you just want to run a uh, virus and spyware scan. It may be different for your computer. As you see here, it is. It's uh, scanning really quick, just to make sure I don't have any viruses, and uh, that'll keep your computer running at its maximum potential. So I'll go ahead and. Uh, pause until it's just about done. Alright, it finished without me noticing. It was pretty fast. Anyway, let's see show report. I won't close that. Uh, let's see here, no viruses or anything found, so we're, we're okay. Alright, so yeah, that's pretty much all that there is to step one. You're one step closer to uh, being able to run the HTML5 beta. Or, when it comes out, we all know it's coming out in a week. Uh, hopefully all you guys will be able to run it. Let's move on to step two. Alright guys, step two is to use a RAM disk program, uh, like data RAM, RAM disk, uh, to um, run your Chrome user data files on this RAM disk, which will make everything load up and uh, render things a lot faster in RuneScape. So you're going to go ahead and click on this. I've already got it installed. Uh, if you guys want to know how to do this, I did make another video on this a little while back. I'll leave you guys a link uh, or an annotation somewhere on the screen and a link um, in the description to that video. But what you basically want to do is it's going to give you this program right here. I've already got it running. Uh, you just put this and then uh, you put the amount that you need it to run on. And then you put your Chrome user data files on that RAM disk. Then you create a symbiotic link between the two things, and it basically makes the uh, Chrome think that it's running in the uh, folder that it should be running in, but it's actually running on the RAM disk. And it'll also speed up your Google Chrome, which is really nice. Uh, everything will load a bit faster, stuff like that. But yeah, uh, again, you probably will need to watch the video because it's kind of complicated, especially, especially the uh, symbiotic link thing. So if you're having trouble with that, just go ahead and check out that video. I'll, like I said, I'll leave a link. But yeah, let's go ahead and move on to uh, step three. All right, guys, uh, this is like a little bonus step I'm adding in. Um, it's going to be like step 2.5 or whatever. Uh, I do want to say that step two is probably one of the most important steps right now. Uh, and for it to work properly, properly, you need a lot of RAM. Now, uh, this is the RAM I have in my computer. I just wanted to show you guys. Um, 
I actually got it for cheaper, but you should be able to, uh, somewhere on Newegg, I can almost guarantee you can find 8 gigs of, um, of RAM for about 50 bucks. I mean, that's what I got this for on sale. But, um, yeah. Oh, you get a, uh, you get a PC game with it. That's great. Um, but yeah. Anyway, uh, 4 gigs should be good. Like, with RAM disk, it's a little, it's probably going to slow you down a little bit. 6 good. Six gigs is fine, and then eight gigs is good for whatever you're doing, pretty much. And uh, you can multitask with this and all all sorts of stuff like that. So yeah, I definitely recommend getting a, uh, upgrading your RAM. Um, if you don't have a desktop, uh, you obviously have to get a different kind of RAM. But um, you'll, you can do some research and uh, find out what you need for your computer. And uh, yeah, so let's move on to step three, guys. Alright guys, we're back and here we are at step three. Uh, step three is just going to be to update your Chrome browser uh, because that's the only thing it's running in at the moment. I'm not sure, it might be running in Firefox, but I would recommend going with Chrome uh, just to be safe because I know it works in this. And then also your graphics driver which we'll get into in a minute. So just accept this. I'm going to go ahead and do it because I'm not sure mine is uh, up to date. So. You must do this one because uh, I'm not even sure it'll run if you don't have the most uh, update up-to-date Chrome. So yeah, just download this and install it. Hopefully, all you guys know how to install a browser. Hopefully, I mean, I don't know. You might not, but if you don't, you should uh, you should probably learn how. But yeah. <laughs> Anyway, uh, we'll go ahead and go to the uh, graphics drivers. Uh, I have a uh, NVIDIA graphics card, so I go to um, NVIDIA.com and I go click my. Um, if you at you're either probably gonna have NVIDIA, AMD, or uh, Intel, just go to their website and you can hopefully find it. And I just go to drivers, GeForce drivers. I already have the up to date one. Because I have GeForce experience, you definitely want to have this if you have a, a NVIDIA graphics card. Oh, oh, Chrome updated. Anyway, yeah, but you just want to download uh, GeForce experience if you have NVIDIA, which you probably should already have that. And then let's just go ahead and go to AMD's website. Um, let's find support and drivers. Just choose whatever. Uh, desktop graphics, product line, read on HD series is probably what you'd have. And then just pick whatever you've got and then down the driver. I'm not sure if they have a thing that automatically updates. And the same for Intel. Uh, let's do it. There we go. Intel.com. Um, why is it loading so slow? No idea. Um, support, maybe? Downloads and drivers. Browse for drivers. Or you can do automatically, I guess. And then you just uh, choose your product, graphics, uh, probably desktop graphics. And then you just choose whatever you've got here. My uh, my other graphics thing has 4,000, I believe, but I don't use that graphic card. So yeah, it doesn't matter. Anyway, uh, that's pretty much it for this step. Uh, just update your Chrome and update your drivers. That should help everything uh, just running at the maximum potential. Let's move on to the next step. Alright guys, uh, this is an optional step. I myself am not going to use this just because I have a pretty good computer and I don't think it will help me much. But um, yeah, this is uh, Download Razer Gaming Booster. Uh, what this does is it basically just optimizes everything on your PC but it does close down all your other programs which is something that can help if you don't have a really good P uh, processor but if you already have a good PC I wouldn't recommend using this but uh, yeah you just download this and then uh, you go ahead and launch it and then that'll uh, just optimize your computer for playing games so then you can go ahead and open up your Chrome or whatever and go on to the uh, HTML5 uh, right now it's in beta but it will be out in about a week so yeah Hopefully you guys can figure out how to use this. Uh, it may or may not work for your computer. Hopefully it will, but um, yeah, it also tells you your uh, your temperatures and stuff like that. So yeah, 
it's a great program. I myself am not using it just because I don't think I need it. But uh, yeah. Anyway, let's move on to uh, the next step. All right, guys. Step five. Uh, this is a pretty obvious step. It's just close all your other programs. I'm not even going to do this right now because it's just so simple. Close your other programs. If you're running it, like I, I told you guys, the, um, the pretty much system requirements before. Um, if you just meet that, or you're under that, or you're somewhere not really high in, high up, you're gonna want to close all your other programs because uh, the HTML5 client is very processor intensive. So yeah, you definitely want to close all your other programs. Okay guys, uh, here's step six. It's something that's very simple but not a lot of people know about. Um, if you have like not very good uh, desktop graphics or just bad processor or not or laptop graphics or whatever, uh, here's something you can try. It may or may not help you. Uh, if you have really low specs, it probably will. Uh, you go ahead and right click, go to personalize. It'll bring up this screen right here. Um, I don't know what's going on here. Anyway, uh, you want to go ahead and click on Windows Classic. Now this is going to bring you a much more, well, classic interface basically. And it's just going to use up less graphics, less of your graphics and CPU uh, just powering this whole thing. Now this is if you have a really low end PC. If you have a higher end uh, or newer PC, pretty much any new PC is going to be able to run this, especially if you take all these steps uh, to, uh, to running the uh, HTML5 client. But yeah, this is a really simple thing, and uh, if you're lagging, I definitely recommend trying. All right, guys. So now we're actually about to we're ready to finally get on the beta and uh, just see how everything's going to be working. Uh, sorry about that, guys. Anyway, yeah, we're finally on the beta. We're ready to see if everything's working. Uh, if it doesn't load up. When you click play HTML5 beta, or once it comes out, you just click play now, I'm sure, or however it is that it uh, ends up happening. If it doesn't load up, uh, I recommend just making sure you've got the latest drivers and the latest Chrome. And if that doesn't work, you can go and delete your, uh, your Chrome user data file right here. It wasn't working for me earlier, and that's what I tried. Hopefully, it'll work now. So let's go ahead and try it. Just click play HTML5 beta, and hopefully, it'll load up. Come on, I'll pause until it does, guys. Oh yeah, okay. So uh, here it is. This is why I wasn't doing it. Uh, after a few seconds, it came up with uh, it wants to permanently store large data on your computer. This is basically it's storing all the uh, files for the game. Go ahead and click OK. You definitely want to do that, so it will actually run. <laughs> and this little circle is lagging a little bit. I don't know why. And yeah, again, I'll pause because it's got to uh, download all this. Oh wait, here it goes. And then this will come up. So first things first, got to wait for it to load. On the first time, everything is going to be extremely slow. Let me just tell you guys that. Uh, I'm actually not running on the RAM disk right now, which I'll probably go get up and running before I actually show you guys some gameplay. But before we do that, let's just wait for this to load up. I'll pause. All right, guys, it loaded up for me. And uh, one thing I need to say is the first time, like I said, the first time you load up anything, the first time you go to a new area, it's going to be extremely slow just because it's saving all those files on your computer. The pre-rendering shaders thing, you want to wait till that's done before you start to do anything on the screen. But uh, yeah, if you've got the RAM disk running, it's going to be quite a bit faster. So first things first, you want to go in here and click custom and uh, just put everything on whatever you think your PC can handle. Uh, the main thing that's going to make you lag is going to be the draw distance. I'm going to have mine on load just for the video, but I'm going to turn everything else on just to show you guys. Uh, let's go ahead, put everything on max. All right, guys. So before I log in, I'm going to go and um, set the RAM disk up again, uh, just so I can show you guys the maximum potential for my PC. I'll see you then, guys. Okay, guys. We got it loading up for the first time. Uh, I have this program called MSI Afterburn. It's actually a thing for overclocking your graphics card. I just have it overclocked a little bit, but that doesn't matter. Um, as you can see, it's still really poorly optimized because as you can see here, look at my my GPU usage. It's only at 45% and 
it could be running at 100 and doing everything quite a bit faster, which just proves everything is not quite optimized yet. But here we are loading up Dungeoneering. Like I said, the first time you do everything, it's going to be really slow, even on the RAM disk. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and pause till it loads up. All right, guys, so I got everything loaded up. Uh, it does look pretty good, but um, there's my phone. All right, guys, you might hear a little background noise. That's my little brother's. But um, as you see, I'm running at 30 FPS, very playable, especially for RuneScape. But as I showed you guys before, it, let me just put this on highest. As you see, it looks pretty cool when it loads up like that. But this is engineering, so it doesn't have a whole lot to load up. But yeah, as you can see, I'll go back and show you guys my MSI Afterburner. I'm only running at about 50% GPU usage, sometimes less, sometimes more. But it should be at max FPS, just because uh, max is 60, by the way. But if you're running at 30, that's fine. They just need to finish optimizing everything, and then we should be good. But yeah, it's kind of surprising that they haven't finished the optimization yet. I mean, it's going to be out in a week, and it just... It's pretty bad. Let me just, I'll go ahead and teleport to a new area and uh, show you guys how long it takes to load. Let me pause, do my bank. Alright, we're in the bank. Like I said, everything is going to take some time just because it's the first time loading up. Once you've done everything a couple times, you've been to the areas a few times before, it's just going to load up so much faster. Like, I'll do a comparison here in a second. Um, let's go over to Varrock. This is like the laggiest place that I've seen so far, the GE. So yeah, it's going to be quite bad. Again, it would be worse if we weren't on the uh, RAM disk thing. Just that loads up the. Uh, well, actually, it doesn't help much the first time, but once it's already loaded onto your PC, uh, onto your user data file, uh, it's it is gonna work a lot faster. Now, what you want to make sure is when it is loading up, once you uh, are ready to close down the RAM disk or whatever, uh, you want to go ahead and copy that user data file. Oh, I lost connection. Don't show anything that I don't want to be showed, please. Okay. Anyway, uh, yeah. What was I saying? Yeah. Okay. So whenever uh, you go into your user data file, this is where I saved it on my RAM disk. You want to copy that once you're done playing, and then put it back into your Chrome area uh, location thing. Uh, just because this one is saving the uh, this user data is saving all the files, and then these two are old ones that aren't saving it. Alright, so here we are. As you can see, the GE is just extreme. How fast it loads up. Uh, looks like we're still in the Grand Exchange. Oh, as you can see, that was really fast. Uh, I don't know what's going on with these lights, though, but yeah, everything seems to be completely loaded up. That was really fast. Um, they just really need to work on the optimizing and the loading and all loading times and everything. But if you use a RAM disk, I would say it's playable, uh, depending on how good your PC is. Uh, I'd say it'll get better in the near future, and uh, it'll be able to, it'll make your FPS quite a bit higher. But yeah, guys, um, that's about it for this video. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope this helps you out uh, on running the beta. And yeah, I'll see you guys in another video. Uh, if you guys want to see a comparison, uh, there goes everything finishing loading. I don't know what the deal was with that. But yeah, if you guys want to see some more uh, HTML5 beta videos or uh, just more information on everything for this, then you can go ahead and uh, just leave me a comment or shoot me a PM on YouTube. Uh, yeah, everything's good. I don't know why the FPS isn't going higher than this. It's weird. Let's check my MSI afterburner one more time. As you can see, it's just not going over this. I have no idea why. It's just stupid in my opinion. But, uh, yeah, anyway, that's about it, guys. Uh, thanks for watching, and uh, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.